Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Double welcome today. Uh, I'm out for another solo fishing car camping adventure. I'm at about 1200 feet and it is 34 degrees and raining with rain expected 100% for the next two days. So I got the uh, big boy rain gear on. Um, I've been dealing with water clarity issues all season and today is no different, but I think we might be able to work with what we got today. In these conditions, I'd be thankful to just get one or two fish. So let's get to fishing and see if we can't make this an actual catch and cook. I'm gonna start out by tossing around my trusty old little Clio and uh, to battle the, the water clarity, I'm gonna put on some Procure Rainbow Trout scent. Woo-wee, that's stanky. Oh, oh my God. A fish just came up right at shore and struck it. Oh, how frustrating is that? First cast. Didn't get it though. Okay, so there's hope. You guys see this big old boat? Wonder what they're up to. It's a freaking barge with a crane on it. Oh, that might uh, that might disrupt the fishing. Well, they're only like a hundred feet away from me right now. As much as I'd like to stay and see what they're up to, I gotta catch a dang fish, but that's cool. They got a porta potty on that barge, which I guess makes sense. If you gotta go, you gotta go. All right, I moved a few hundred feet down the lake, probably 600 feet or so. You can see those guys working uh, just back here. So I'm on this nice little uh, rocky outcropping. Let's see if we can't make something happen. Dang, there's another giant boat driving by. Jeez Louise, I'm doing a lot of work down here. I might have to bail out of this spot. There's too much going on. So many boats, so, so many boats driving all over the place there. It's, uh, it's Sunday today. I, I wouldn't imagine they'd be doing so much work, but maybe they got to get it done. Anyway, there was just too much commotion there, so let's move to a different part of the lake, not crash the car, and uh, who knows, maybe we'll find some uh, clearer water, probably not any uh, warmer temps, but all right, let's move and uh, see if we can't catch us an actual fish. Boy, I thought I was going to be ice fishing here for a second. Uh, good news though, I'm actually going to be fishing right off this little point here and there's plenty of room for me to cast and it looks like the water is open and clear. So, let's see if we can't make this a catch and cook. Back where I was fishing before, I had switched over to a, let's see if I can show you guys. Oh, my hands are cold. Switched over to a 
chatterbait here. I don't know if you guys are familiar with these, but this little piece of metal here does it vibrates real hard through the water so it causes a lot of vibration and noise in the water and the goal is to attract fish and I was thinking with that you know unclear water over there maybe I could attract those fish with this but I'm gonna leave this on here uh, and see if we can't make anything happen with the chatterbait here or I'll just get my line all tangled up <laughs> first cast Second cast. Whoo, it is cold. Oh, oh, I had a big old follower. Whoa. Don't fall down the hill. Okay, I didn't get anything with the chatterbait. So I'm putting back on my trusty little Cleo and I applied some new stanky sauce to it. So I saw a fish and it was a big one. This is happening. Oh boy, I can't feel my hands. So I am switching tactics completely. So what I have is a bobber stop, a bead, a float, uh, excuse me, a slip float to another bead, barrel swivel, a couple feet of uh, five pound fluoro line with two uh, lead weights down to a bait holder hook with, I'm going to try out these uh, gulp worms. They say uh, outfishes all other baits. So we'll see about that. And then on that gulp worm, I uh, put some Nightcrawler Super Gel. So this way, I can toss this out there and maybe stand around with my hands in my pockets. <laughs> and uh, at first here, I'm just going to be fishing about oh, two or three feet deep. Can I bite? Oh my gosh, getting a bite. Take it, take it. Take it, do it. Does he got it? Stay under. Stay under. There we go. Dang it. Take it. Take it. Take it. It's just doing nibbles on it. You didn't get my whole worm, did you? You bastard. Ah. Uh, you bastard. Well, empty-handed, and I really feel like I let you guys down. Like, you're not mad, you're just disappointed in me. And I know what you're thinking. No beard, no fish, unsubscribe, and I don't blame you guys. <laughs> so I don't know what's worse, not getting a single bite all day or almost catching several fish. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Would you rather not get a single bite all day and just be like, well, there's nothing there, or like come this close to catching several fish? Because right now, uh, for me, it feels like almost catching several fish is worse. Because I did get several bites today uh, and almost landed a couple fish. I had a bunch of followers. I tried everything under the sun. Uh, bottom rig, I floated so many different things under a bobber, uh, multiple Berkeley power baits and night crawlers, uh, spinner spoons, grubs, <clears throat> twitching grubs. I tried everything and just couldn't land a fish. But anyway, it's going to be dark in like an hour or so and I'm freaking starving. So let's go find somewhere to camp 
and cook up some food. All right, got a decent little campsite here. Um, I was really hoping to not have to hang up the tarp, but uh, I'm already cold and I don't need to be cold and wet and it's freaking pouring rain. So let me get this tarp set up. We'll get a fire going and then we'll party. <laughs> Feels like a paper bag kind of burning night, doesn't it? Man, it'd be pretty embarrassing if I couldn't start a fire with a paper bag and dry kindling. Normally I start fires with crap I find in the woods and a ferro rod. This is a pitiful paper bag. It's all wet, barely burning. Don't embarrass me, fire. All right, fire's going easy peasy. Get my bed set up in my car and then uh, let's cook some food. Okay, car bed is set up. Oh, hey, look, a fire. Car bed is set up complete with a $5 pillow I got from Target. Sleep comfy in there. All right, well, obviously it's totally dark out now. Let's not see any ghosts this time. <laughs> uh, but let's do make dinner because I'm freaking starving. First things first. I told you guys we we're gonna party. The sausage party. Oh, sorry, that was a terrible, terrible joke. How in the crap do you open this thing? All right, now I gotta take some of these sausages I just fried up and roll them up into some of these pre made biscuits. We're gonna do like a hot dog in a blanket kind of thing. Let's see. Bloop. <laughs> You guys, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I've actually never made these, so uh, don't judge me. Throw some of these in here, like so. Now obviously I'm not following the directions, uh, so we'll just kind of see how it goes. But I think it'll turn out some way or another. Either way, I'm gonna eat them. All right, there we go. Uh, <laughs> Normally I'm like, oh cool, this thing I cooked is so awesome, but I think this time I'm uh, maybe slightly underwhelmed with my, with my cooking skills. I did do it over fire in a cast iron, you're supposed to do it in the oven. But let's fix it up with some tapatio and chow down. Oh, it's really hot. It actually tastes all right, despite being kind of burnt on the outside. No, oh, not my best work, you guys. It's all right. Tons of videos. Not everyone's gonna be a total banger. The important part is, is that you get outside and have fun. Dang, well, I'm actually pretty stuffed after all this hot dogs in a blanket. <laughs> uh, I think I'm just gonna chill here for a little while. Uh, listen to some early 90s bangers and uh, sit by the fire and just hang out. So after that, I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, you guys. So I'm actually all the way at home at this point. I didn't even bother filming this morning. Uh, it was still kind of dark and windy and pouring rain and pretty cold. So I just packed it up real fast, grabbed some coffee at the gas station and peaced out. This wasn't the uh, fish bloodbath that I was hoping for, but we'll get after some fish soon. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll catch you on the next one.